An apple a day keeps the doctor away, or so they say. This saying has been in play in our society for many years. And while it doesn't sound viable in today's world, it isn't exactly wrong. It is possible to say that apples have been around for many years. And as civilizations were built and destroyed, apples have also undergone some changes that have made them somewhat better. Apples have been converted into a bunch of other kinds of foods. There's apple pie, apple cake, candy apples, caramel apples, apple flavored sweets, and even beverages like apple cider, apple teeny, and others. One of the many beverages that the fruit has been used to make is apple juice. And you can agree with me when I say that apple juice is probably the most popular finished product of the fruit. This just means that there are many ways of keeping the doctor away, or so you would think. Apples have been mentioned in a bunch of mythological stories, and it has even been a part of many other stories that serve as the basis for some religions. Their mythological and religious significance can be seen in many cultures, including Greek, Norse, and European Christian religions. This goes to show that these fruits have been around for a very long time. Long enough to make you wonder when exactly the idea of turning these solid fruits into a liquid beverage became a norm. Being one of the oldest cultivated fruits in the world today, apples are believed to have originated from Central Asia, where their wild ancestors, Malusia versi, still exist till today. This fruit has been cultivated for thousands of years in various continents like Asia and Europe until they were taken to North America by European colonists to be cultivated there. The fruit is believed to have been cultivated nearly 4,000 to 10,000 years ago in the Tian Shan Mountains, and then the fruit made its way traveling along the Silk Road to Europe. Now, this fruit is widely cultivated in many parts of the world, such as Russia, China, Turkey, the US, Iran, Germany, Netherlands, Poland, India, and Italy. They also come in a wide range of varieties, including Fuji, Red Delicious, Gala, Pacific Rose, Pink Lady, and Granny Smith, to name a few. We go behind the scenes to see how a popular product, apple juice, is made using modern fruit juice making technology. When it comes to apples, there have been more than 7,500 cultivated varieties confirmed in the world today. These cultivated varieties differ in their yield and the size of their tree regardless of whether they are grown in the same rootstock. These different cultivated varieties are also grown at different temperatures, with some preferring more temperature climates while others prefer more subtropical climates. The existence of these diverse cultivated varieties means that some are better for eating, like the desert apples, and others are better for other products, like cider production, which requires cider apples. Contrary to what you might think, apples weren't always for eating, as they were originally considered too bitter to eat raw. Until recent history. In the past, the fruit was pressed for juice and could be left to ferment till it became apple cider. However, apple juice required a different procedure than apple cider, which made it more popular in modern day society. Apple juice is a fruit juice made by the process of softening or breaking the fruit into pieces, using a liquid and pressing the fruit till the juices are harvested. The juice received from these processes of maceration and pressing can then be treated by enzymatic and centrifugal processes to remove the pectin and starch, which holds fine particulate in suspension. It is then pasteurized and packaged in metal, glass, or aseptic containers. Dehydration processes could further treat it to a concentrate, leading to the production of other apple products. The process of making apple juice requires way more than has been previously mentioned. To make apple juice, the perfect variety has to be harvested, which is chosen from apples usually harvested from February to mid-April in the Southern Hemisphere, and from September to mid-November in the Northern Hemisphere. One of the most common cultivated varieties used to make apple juice is the Macintosh, or the Macintosh Red, which also happens to be the national apple of Canada. It's believed that you will need about two medium-sized Macintosh apples to make 200 milliliters, or 6.8 US fluid ounces of apple juice. Once the apples have been harvested, they are cleaned up and taken to the processing facility. The pressing process is carried out as soon as possible to prevent the apples from going bad, and depending on the end product in mind and the company producing it, the apples can be processed in different ways before they are pressed. After the pressing process, the apple juice is filtered, 
marking the difference between apple juice and apple cider in the United States and Canada. The filtration process affects the number of solid particles left in the beverage, which partly describes the difference between apple cider and apple juices. There are also cases in which apple juice is processed enzymatically using a class of enzymes known as pectinases. After the apple juice has been pressed and filtered, then comes the process of pasteurization. This involves treating the beverage with mild heat, usually below 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, for preservation purposes and to eliminate pathogens in the hopes of extending its shelf life and reducing foodborne illnesses. However, since apple juice is quite acidic, having a pH of 3.4, the beverage can be pasteurized for a shorter period or at lesser temperatures than a lot of other juices. With that in mind, the United States Food and Drug Administration has recommended processing time and thermal temperature for apple juice. Once the production process is completed, then comes the storage process. Most people would think that apple juice comes sealed in Capri Sun packs. And that's it. However, apple juice and most other beverages really require refrigeration for preservation purposes. Depending on the type of juice, the preservation process is quite different. For fresh apple juice, the preservation process is mainly refrigeration, while for sealed bottles or canned apple juice, the preservation process involves storing them in a cool, dark place, such as a cupboard or pantry, to slow down the degradation process of the apple juice. The ideal temperature for storing apple juice is between 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. However, while the preservation process helps to extend the shelf life, the apple juice's taste, texture, or appearance might be altered over time. The process of juice making is one that has undergone a lot of development with advancements in technology. There was once a time when fruits were pressed by foot in a huge bath because that was the best method. However, in today's modern society, the juice making process has gotten much better and much faster and safer. This means that people don't have to stomp on fruits for them to be pressed properly. There are machines that have been made to improve this process, and they can be used in the factory or in your homes. These machines include juice mixing blending process filling production machine, juice process filling machine, full automatic plastic bottle blowing machine, even your home operated juicer, and so much more. Thanks to these pieces of equipment, the process of making apple juice has been simplified and made less stressful.